Hello, this is Pam Brogdon again, and this is our second segment on strategies for comprehension. In this segment, we are going to learn how to monitor our comprehension and code it for our understanding. This is a key that you see on my screen, and you have one of these in your packet for your assignments this week. So you will use this in your readings, but I'm going to quickly to go through what the key is so that you will know how to code your passages. If you have a question when you read a sentence, then you put a like question mark in your book. If you don't want to write in your book, that's okay. Use a colored sticky for I have a question, but use the same color every time you have a question. So you may want to use yellow for I have a question if you don't want to like, put a like question mark in your book. If you do not understand a sentence as you read it, put a frowny face or put an X, whatever symbol you want, or in a different colored sticky, maybe a red one. If you come upon a sentence that you say, wow, that is very interesting, then put an exclamation point or a green sticky. I know this is important with a sentence, Put an asterisk or a star. So you are coding every sentence as you read it if you have a question. You don't have to code every sentence because I'm assuming you will understand many of them, but some of them you may have a question you may not understand. Code it so you can go back to it later and make sure that you have had your questions answered. So always use this code when you're reading a selection. Yes, it will take you more time initially, but after you've used it many times, it will come naturally because you will be in the habit. But right now, use it for every reading selection that you complete because you are learning, you are developing good reading habits. And don't just do it for this class. Use it for all of your classes. You will be surprised at how much more you understand the selections that you read. Now I'm going to model for you how to use this in a reading selection. If you turn to page 118 in your textbook, Bridging the Gap, there is a reading selection called High Risk Drinking and College Students. I'm going to do just a couple of segments of that so that you can see the process that you go through when you are coding for comprehension. You, I'm going to think out loud and talk out loud so you can see my thought processes as yours should be when you go through and do this. Despite repeated warnings and tragic examples, some college students still fail to drink responsibly. Well, I think we all know that. The stakes for doing so are high because of the high risk for alcohol-related injuries and death. That, unfortunately, is something we all do know. According to a recent study, 1,825 college students die each year because of alcohol-related unintentional injuries, including car accidents. Hmm, that's pretty important. And I think that that may come up again on a test. I don't know, but that looks important to me. So I'm going to code it in, in turquoise. Now here's my code. I did not go over those with you. I apologize. If I have a question, I'm going to code it in yellow. If I don't understand, I'm going to code it in red. If I think it's really interesting, I'm going to code it in green. And if I think it's important and wow, may see this again on a test, I'm going to put it in turquoise. So that's pretty important. I'm going to put it in turquoise. Unintentional injuries are the leading cause of death in the 18 to 24 year old group, age group, and alcohol is the leading contributing factor in those deaths. I think that's very important, very interesting. So I could color code that a lot, but I'm going to do it as important. Now I have a question, unintentional injuries. So I coded that in yellow. Unintentional injuries, what does that mean? Well, 
Obviously, if it's car accidents, none of these are intentional. They're not self-inflicted. They're not meant to be happening. They're accidents. So I think that's what unintentional was talking about. So I think I've answered my own question, but I'm going to leave it coded. Consumption of alcohol is the number one cause of preventable death among undergraduate college students in the United States today. Wow, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Very sad, but interesting. Now the next session, section, the facts. Who drinks? It's likely that students who enter college will drink at some point, but there are groups of students who are more likely to drink more and more often. I do not understand that. I have no idea what they are talking about. So I'm going to code that in red because I have a question and I don't know. I have, I do not understand what they're talking about there. For example, students who believe that their parents approve of their drinking are more likely to drink and to report a drinking-related problem. There it goes. It answered. It helped us to understand what that sentence meant. When we see that for example, that tells us that they're fixing to do a little bit more explanation, and they did. But I think that's pretty important. Hmm. So I'm going to do that one in turquoise. Students who drank heavily in high school, drink heavily in college. That's pretty interesting. They also drink heavy in college, heavily in college. Um, by the 12th grade, 20% of high school students are engaging in binge drinking, 55 in having been drunk, and 12 having at least a full drink. Wow. Um, but I don't know what binge drinking is. So this was very important, I think, these statistics. But I'm not sure what binge drinking is, so I coded that in yellow. And I think we can figure out what binge drinking is just by knowing what going on a binge is. And that's when you just do it very, that's all you do, and you do it quickly, and you're just consumed by it. So I would think that binge drinking means that you are drinking heavily and quickly in a short period of time. So I think we've answered our own question. Now, we've monitored her, we've done our code, and so now we are going to go to our next stage, which is what? Recall. And this is the form that you also have in your packet, and you've got the blank one right here, your topic and your important details. And this also is preparing you for um, main idea and supporting details. This will help you very much with that in this class and all classes. So use this form in your other classes as well when you're reading very important material because it will help you keep it organized and integrate all the different facts and information until you understand the entire passage. Trust me, do it. Okay, topic, high school high-risk drinking in college students. Here I put the important details. The number of students who die each year because of the unintentional injuries and that they're the leading cause of death in the 18 to 24 year old and alcohol is the number one cause of the preventable deaths. I also, what's the next section? Then I did another one of these, who drinks? Then I went through the facts that I thought were most important in the section of who drinks. They believe their parents approved they would drink more. If you drank heavily in high school, they would drink heavily in college. And then the statistics about the binge drinking, the having been drunk, and the, at least one full drink. So this is a way you organize the facts in a selection and make sure that you understand what you read. I want you to do this as part of your assignments for this week in your assignment packet. And so do this, and then we will talk about it on the discussion board. As always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. I want you to understand this. I want you to use it until it becomes second nature to you. And it will, but commit the time to learning this strategy and implementing it. Thank you.